gentlemen, it's now my privilege to preside over this uh, wonderful ceremony, and I'd like to thank our sponsor, Linux, uh, for making this happen. Without their gracious support, uh, we would not uh, be able to honor these drivers in the way we hope to today. And in, uh, to help us with that ceremony, I'd like to invite my good friend, I didn't say my old friend, but my good friend, uh, Dell Les, Vice President of Safety Services for Linux, to help with the, the ceremony. I, I would like to say this. Uh, I've had the privilege of writing and getting to know all four of these drivers over the last month. And you know, if you were to take their cumulative service to this industry and to their companies and add it up, what we're dealing with here is about 40 years a person and about 16 million miles of safe, accident-free, violation-free driving. And if you put that in context, you're talking about 640 trips around the earth without an accident, without a moving violation, okay? And it would also mean roughly uh, 67 trips to the moon, uh, to the moon, okay? Not round trips, but uh, to the moon. So that's, uh, that's pretty impressive, okay? Uh, but what I would like to say is to put some context behind that context is these, all these individuals have some very interesting uh, parallels in their service and in their careers. Uh, they, they believe in the golden rule. They believe in treating others the way they want to and, be, and expect to be treated. They're meticulous planners. Um, they drive too slowly for me. Okay? <laughs> but that's what makes them safe and probably what makes me unsafe. They have an interesting uh, dichotomy. There's a, 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 an intense inner pride within, within each one of the four of these gentlemen. But it's surrounded and cloaked in humility. Uh, they, I promise you this, for the next hour, this is going to be one of the most uncomfortable moments of their lives because to them, all they're doing is a job. That's all they're doing is a job. They're not doing it for the awards or the recognition. Uh, they appreciate where they are. They, they, they travel and journey with great gratitude. They're independent to a fault. They love being out on the road, but they also recognize they can't do it alone and they don't do it alone. So let's, with that background, I, I'd like to invite our final inductee is Larry Johnson. Larry's with Messer out of Indianapolis. If you don't know Messer, if that name isn't familiar, uh, you're probably familiar with your predecessor company, Lindy. Uh, Larry's been driving with Messer, or Lindy, for 32 years, accumulating 3.1 million miles, and he actually had about 10 years of driving before that with an additional 1 million miles of safe driving. His career began during his final years in high school when he was working part-time for a Stoutville implement company. Uh, he taught himself how to operate uh, straight trucks and tractor trailers, and uh, he described that moment as a wow moment for him. Here's, here's his first rig with Stylesville. Interestingly, this, one of his co-drivers ended up wrecking this, and it ended up in a demolition derby uh, for, uh, for, for equipment. So uh, it wasn't Larry that did it. You can see Larry there with the stylish head here. Uh, he fell in love with trucking after his parents got divorced, and he was about seven years old. His mother remarried, and his, her new husband swept Larry off his feet. He was kind of that rugged cowboy, hybrid cowboy boots. Uh, he hauled machinery for the auction company, and, and that's really where Larry got his start. By the time he was a high, uh, junior in high school, there was really nothing that he couldn't drive. Uh, let, let's take a look at how it began for Larry through his own words. My uncle actually got mad and quit because he drove for the same company. So we needed an extra driver to make some compounds up to the very end. And uh, my boss asked if I could, asked if I could do it. And uh, I think my buddy Jack Davis said, well, he drives the trucks around here all the time. He does a great job. So we loaded up the compound off of the days where we went. I think it was three or four of us. My first load was uh, it's probably 11 foot wide. And I got here and got back, so that got lost. So then he, he joined uh, Messer in, his, in one of its previous iterations. Uh, worked for there, and while he was driving for there, he met White, uh, his wife both. And they were married about 22 years ago. There they are in their ceremony, second marriage for both. And uh, uh, they, they actually have three sons and six grandchildren together. What you'll find, uh, Larry is a, a real creature of habit. When I got there, look at that, last locker on the bottom. That was where he was. And I, 
he said, oh, everybody's told me to move, but I'm a preacher of habit. I've got, I've got to be doing the same thing every day. Whether it's the free trip, starting the day off, getting his personal protective equipment, and that type of thing. And he's the most senior driver on the board, uh, and uh, he's, he's used that same one every day for the last 32 years. Um, when, when you're hauling for Messer, you find that this, this liquid nitrogen comes out about 350 degrees below zero to keep it uh, liquid. It's a pretty unforgiving environment, with lots of risks, lots of hazards associated with it. So meticulous, his meticulous nature is critical when it comes to that. Uh, he is, you, you will find him uh, trying to give back in, in various areas. He's a member of the company's Safety, Health, and Environmental uh, Quality Control Committee, helps try to correct issues before they, they come up. He's also worked uh, with high school kids about the dangers of sharing roads with uh, tractor trailers. He says the older he gets, and he's 61 years old, uh, the more he appreciates safety, and you have to really per persevere a lot, you have to focus on the right things, you have to really work hard, and you have to get really, really lucky. You know, it's, uh, so, like most, uh, he likes to bring out, uh, he likes being out on his own. This is one of the, the, the typical delivery where we actually had to wait about 30 minutes because there was a car parked right in that slot where that sign is that says, no parking. Um, for the manufacturing facility he was at, and he said, I'm not about to take a risk. We have the power to shut this rig down at any time. I'm not going to try and get this load in, even though they had tried another driver tr uh, tried the previous day. Uh, so th these are kind of the impediments that he faces in a day to day job. And it's not just about driving the truck, it's about getting that load handled correctly. And uh, uh, I, I'll tell you this, yeah. We, we are dealing in a world of high-tech safety solutions oftentimes. Sometimes it's not the high-tech solution that works. I want you to take a look at this video clip and, and take a look at one of the innovative ways that, uh, that the company, I think it's the company, maybe it was you, Larry, has created in terms of lining that rig up with the delivery area. Okay, take a look. I'm going to show you the backing video. Take a look at the way he has the cones structured, okay? Bingo. Pretty, pretty interesting. A low-tech solution that gets him centered right to the right spot. Uh, now, listen to Larry as he describes some more of his safe driving tips. Uh, just take your time. You gotta take your time and, and don't get in the pack. And uh, just, just slow down. So take your time. Uh, check, take a look at your surroundings and don't be in a hurry. He and his wife, Hope, have, uh, there's the full family in the middle, but you can see they're dog lovers. Uh, they're active members in the community. They participate in a number of different activities such as food pantries, pregnancy care center, as well as animal rescue. Uh, so that's, that, that's just a great picture of uh, some of the animals they rescue. Over the years, Larry has been very involved in the Mazda Club of Indianapolis. Uh, here's some of the vehicles that, uh, that he's used in, in that endeavor. And lately, his passion has turned to skeet shooting. There he is taking, taking a shot now. I don't know much about skeet shooting, but they have this thing uh, called a straight. Uh, and anybody that shot skeet, that's 25. He had 25 targets in a row as he go around. He did, he had done a straight, and then he did it back to back. So he had 50 in a row, and then he did 95 out of 100. Pretty, pretty impressive, okay? And so there are a lot of parallels, and I'd like him to describe what those parallels are between shooting ski and driving a truck. Uh, ski is a, is a mental game. It's more of a mental game than uh, how good you how good shots are. You've got to stay focused and concentrate. And uh, if you don't, you miss the target. But if you stay focused, you can hit. And I think it's the same one with driving. If you stay focused, you're going to do a good, good job. So staying focused, and uh, you know, I, I ask him, you know, as as we approach kind of the you know the, this age where you start looking at you know looking back over your career, what does it mean? What does it mean to you? And that type of thing. Final comments about about that. I enjoyed it. It wasn't like a job. It would have been awful if it was a job. But it was an adventure. I just loved it. So I just kept it, kept it going. Always somebody new, always something new, every day is different. So, I found it. 
So let's give Larry a big round of applause.